Unsophisticated Whiskey. Welcome back to Unsophisticated Whiskey. I'm T.Y. And I'm Boogie. Today for you we have a smoke wagon uncut and unfiltered. Smoke wagon uncut unfiltered in their beautiful amber bottle, man. I think it's one of the best looking bottles yeah, out there. It really is. It's got the, the beautiful vines going up. It's just, you know... Aaron over at Smoke Wagon. I don't know if he designed this bottle, but if he did, good job. Yeah, good I job. I love the wax stamp <laughs> on the front of the black and gold label. It's great contrast with the dark bottle. Uh, just everything they're doing. When the glass shortage was happening, what, two years ago, a year and a half ago? Yeah. Um, I actually have a clear one at home that I have been not wanting to open. Yeah. Uh, just because. I got a clear one right behind you if you want to grab it and throw it up in the video. Where's it at? It's in the, the cabinet. All right. Looks pretty cool. Just for fun. This this batch we're drinking here, this is uh, batch 135A. It's from February 8th, 2022. So you can see they yeah, switched up the label and everything on it. This was batch 88. I think that's the same. I do like batch. the amber bottle better. I was excited to see the clear bottle because, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's not it's what you're used to seeing yeah. it in. I think it's pretty cool. But uh, Smoke Wagon, this is a blended MGP. You know, yep. well, I'm not sure on the age on this. Um, I'd imagine it's probably right around five or six years. I don't know yeah, for sure. I agree, probably um, around six years. But everyone I've had has been pretty darn good. Yeah. What's the proof on this guy? Oh, math! I have to math. It's about 115.6. They put the percentage and everything down to the second decimal point, so you really have to math. Blended MGP smoke wagons out of uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, do they age the barrels there? You know what? I don't, I don't know where they I don't age exactly either. know. I really can't wait for them to open up a visitor center in yeah. Las Vegas. We go to Vegas a lot. Yeah, we're, we're fans <laughs> of Las Vegas. Yes. And if he opens up an experience down there, we will Which, definitely be visiting. If you're listening, smoke wagon, definitely do that. Yeah, I'm sure. Because right. a lot of people will be there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Kind of a light nose. It is. It's a very light. For being barrel proof, it is light. There's no ethanol burn at all. I'm getting some like sweet, like confectioner's yeah. sugar. Or... Yeah, and like maybe like a light brown sugar. You know what it is? You know to the me? difference? Have you ever had light brown? Yeah. Sugar? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it smells to me like a beignet, but if a beignet was to be made out of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Keeping it real, guys. Yeah. I don't. I don't smell the dough, but I smell sweetness, and I smell a little like I, a little cardboard. <laughs> hey, man. So I guess the things my nose picks up in whiskey yeah, is T.Y.'s mm -hmm. nose is insane. I might give you a note or two here. This guy will go in deep, complex. I feel like I get a little citrus on it too. I can't tell okay. if it's like a lemon or an orange, or maybe a, an orange lemon mixed together, but. Yeah, I can I'm see. What, I think up, it's lemon, bro. Picking up some citrus on there. Okay. Most I'll do, sir. Yes. Cheers. Double tap. <laughs> <laughs> Don't choke on the whiskey now. Yeah, right. I was about to spit that all over the camera. Oh, man. All right. I'd give you a note on that, but I laughed and I don't even. <laughs> I'm going to go for another sip real quick. Definitely leaves legs on the glass for being, you know, as young as this product is. Um, she seems pretty viscous, at least in the glass. There's some nice spice on that, dude. I don't think it's just the proof of it. I think you're definitely getting way more of the proof on the, the palate than you are on the nose, but there's some nice, like, I don't know if it's rye spice, baking spice. Very yeah. nice. I, I do. It's it, it's definitely got some spice, and the spice just sticks through. Yeah. Well, there's it, like some sweeter notes riding through there too. Uh, I think that this bottle, for as young as it is, finishes longer than it should. Pretty long very finish. Nice. My my cardboard note, it's still there. It's like, it's like if you opened up a cereal box and took the bag of cereal out and just smelled the inside of the cereal box. I have that. On my taste buds right now. Hmm. I don't hate it. Don't it's not a bad note. I, well, I don't hate this whiskey at all. I'm a fan of Smoke Wagon. Uh, 
I would love to get my hands on some of them private barrels. Yeah. Or that charred yeah. rye or whatever the experiment they were doing with the different char levels. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, these were really hard to find for quite a while. I don't, I, I can't they speak for everybody. In Indiana. I can't speak for everybody, but I know of multiple stores I can go in now, and these are sitting there all day. Seventy nine ninety nine. Um, I think that's a buy all day long. Yeah. I, I'll i buy it for that price. When this runs out, I'll buy another one. Yeah. You uh, should have one. I wish I it was 65 bucks, but, you know, I like what they're doing over there. I like the bottle. I think it's unlike anything else on the market, really. I mean, I know it's MGP, but wherever they're aging it, maybe that has an effect on what they're doing or just the the blending process, what you know, Aaron's doing over there at Smoke Wagon. He's doing nice yeah. things. Yeah, he is, I think he's, he's a good doing, blender. He is a very good blender. Everything that I've had, I've had lower number batches. Uh, this is batch 135A uh, from... February of last year. Dude, that citrus is there, though. It is. Now I that I said that, that I can't, the, I can't get it out. At all, though. I don't either. It's on the nose, though. I'm getting like a little apple, I think, on the palate, bro. There might be a hint of youth. You know, that they have the uncut the younger now. And I'm just not sure that that's a product... I want to try. I would pick up. And no offense to Smoke Wagon yeah. or anyone else. It's just so know. if this is maybe five or six years, that's probably a four year straight. You know. Yeah. I would think it'd probably be right around four year. Um, There's just so much MGP on the market. It's you don't it's even hard know. to differentiate. Yeah. It really <laughs> is to buy anymore. It really is. But uh, th- this is a buy, guys. I, I think it's seventy nine ninety nine, so, okay. eighty bucks. It's a buy. If you haven't had one and you've been on the fence about it. Pick one up. I would agree. Um, it, it'll look great in your collection. It's a nice bottle. Tastes great. Um, it's something some states can't. They it's not in every state. Uh, like I said, in Indiana, they don't even have them on the shelves right now. So uh, if you can find them in your state, I would definitely pick one up. Or if you're traveling somewhere through a state. I yeah, think. if you're on the Las Vegas Strip, the tar- yeah. tar- Target across the street from Park MGM has them, guys. Yeah. They probably got a lot of stuff, good stuff in the smoke wagon there. Um, but we're on Sophisticated Whiskey. I'm Boogie. And I'm T.Y. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Making booze reviews doesn't need to be complicated. With a snooty attitude that'll leave the viewer frustrated. gets evaluated and I promise that they'll always be unsophisticated unsophisticated whiskey